All right guys, so tonight we're out catching baby iguanas. We're gonna see how many we can catch. I think we're gonna be able to get over 100. So let's just see what happens. We're gonna pull up to the first spot in a second and see how we do. All right, so we just found our first batch of babies on this bush over here. Uh, let me get this one right here. First iguana of the night. So the iguanas just sleep like this on the ends of these branches over the water. And that's how we're finding them. There's one there, one there. And there should be more here. baby iguanas. These are all hatchlings. Just hatched here in Miami. So right now what we're doing is we're checking the sides of this canal for the baby iguanas sleeping on the branches. Basically, you'll see them. When one comes up, there's one right there. Try to get that on camera. So they stand out. We woke him up, but he doesn't really know what's going on. And we just come over here like this, and we just pick him up off the tree. But sometimes when there's multiple, we can scare them, so you have to be a little bit careful. He just goes right in the bin with the other guys. What do we got, like 10 now? 90 more to go. So many in this tree. Alright, let's try to get them all. We try not to shake the tree too much so that you don't wake up the other ones that are sleeping. There's two. So here you go. We just pulled like five babies from that tree. And the reason that these iguanas are here is because through the pet trade, people have them. Sometimes they get loose from their enclosure. Sometimes they get too big. These guys get over six feet. And then people are like, oh no, we don't have the right cage for them. We'll just let them go over here at this park. And basically, over time, more and more people do that. And the iguanas get together. They breed, have a clutch of like, I don't know, 30 eggs. And then they start flourishing in Miami because in South Florida, it's a perfect habitat for these iguanas. There's vegetation, hiding spots, water, literally a perfect setup for them out here. And that's why they're everywhere you look. Any canal system, lake, ponds, by the ocean, you name it, you'll find iguanas there. Look how much garbage is down here. This is one of my favorite areas of the canal because the water is so clear. Just look at all the trash stuff. McDonald's, barbecue sauce, we got Coke cans, Red Bull, shopping carts. This guy is tiny, but this will catch this one too. This is probably like a yearling compared to one that just hatched. This one's probably a couple days old, literally. Over here, this is a male basilisk or Jesus lizard. They're also invasive. A little bit faster, a little bit meaner. Ah! Oh! He got me! It's so funny. Dude, I've never been bit by one of these before. So the males get these crests behind their head. And on their tails as well and on their back. Grab the whole thing. Grab the whole... There you go. 
Charles on the camera. Man, I can do it all. I see this. I see this one here, right in the front of me. The other one's right down there. Okay, perfect. So we kind of spooked them. We're coming in a little bit hot. I see them down there. We got four. We got all five. All right. So basically, where we caught these guys, they're all sleeping on these little branches that hang over the canal, and they know by instinct to sleep on them because raccoons and other predators will come and go after them and by the time that those predators shake those branches they'll just jump right in the water and escape and swim to the other side of the canal or under the bushes for safety so pretty cool how just already in their nature they know how to do that which is partly why they survive so well here in south florida she has thorns on it doesn't make it easy So, look at this guy compared, I don't want you to get bit, to this guy. Both of these guys are newborns. This guy probably just hatched within the past couple days. This one's probably about a couple weeks old. So you see just how fast they grow. That's crazy. That's the smallest iguana I've ever seen. There's a smaller male basilisk. It's kind of too young to know. But that's the basilisk compared to the baby iguanas. Look at this, guys. This is crazy. Right here. Yeah. Catching iguanas. Catching iguanas. Look at that shopping cart. So watch this. It goes from crystal clear water. And then we go through this muff. Ooh, get it going. And then look how brown it gets. This guy, I don't know what happened to him, but ugh, he stinks. Look at this tree's full of babies. He's so chubby. Look at that little chubby guy. Sometimes we see these iguanas from far away as we're passing by the tree. We take your eye off them for one second as we're turning around and then they're gone. They blend in so well. So we've been catching babies all night. But now I'm going to show you guys how to catch a big iguana. This one isn't the biggest one, but it's the biggest one we've seen on this canal so far. It's a big guy. Let me get him in a better spot. Ooh, we don't want them claws. One of his whole nails went into my finger. But that's not as bad as they can get you. I've seen bites from these guys take off fingers, leave people with really bad scars, and their claws are so sharp, they're like a dinosaur, like a raptor. This is a nice one. If you guys, Want to see a video of catching a bunch of these guys? You can like and subscribe. But tonight is all about the babies. All right, so that big iguana, I don't know if you can see, but they'll be pretty good right there and pretty good right there. They just get you sometimes. But these guys aren't going to do anything. This is why they become so common in the pet trade, is because right off the bat, they're handleable. They're really cute, they're beautiful lizards, and they do really well in captivity from babies, eating all veggies. Highly recommended as a pet, but here in Miami, just too many people have them and let them go. It's really cute to buy them, especially moms go into pet shops and they're like, oh, what do I buy my kid? The guy tells them one of these, which is a great first pet. But the problem is, you gotta know the responsibility. This little guy is gonna get as big as the one I just caught. And so you gotta know what you're getting your hands on when you have a four-year-old kid that you're buying a first reptile for. Fifty-five? Sixty? Sixty-five iguanas in that bin, just counted. 
five in this bin, so 70 right now. Two hours into looking and moving at kind of a slow pace, but just out of one finger canal, we pulled out 70 iguanas. Crazy. 10. guys so we are back at the house this iguana is the biggest one of the night um, as I said we were just catching babies this time but we saw this big boy up in the tree and figured we had to get him and unfortunately the camera wasn't ready for that when it happened but look at all these guys we have over a hundred babies alone not including this guy or the sub adults so yeah really good night next time obviously we're gonna try to catch more big ones for you guys Comment down below how many you think we caught tonight. I'm going to announce it in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Peace.